Hi, I'm Jim Smyrniotopoulos, and this is MedPix Case of the Week number 753. Our patient is a 69-year-old man who presents with lower back pain and neck pain. He had a total prostatectomy two years earlier. Postoperatively, his PSA dropped to 17, but two months after surgery, his PSA had risen to a level of 39. In this AP lumbar spine, we see some mild degenerative joint changes, but we also recognize several areas of abnormally increased density or sclerosis within multiple lumbar vertebral bodies. We can also see surgical clips in the pelvic brim consistent with the previous lymph node dissection for the prostatectomy. The lateral view confirms the presence of several sclerotic lesions involving the lumbar vertebral bodies. These lesions are most prominent at lumbar levels 2, 3, and 5. In looking at the frontal and lateral view of the cervical spine, we can also see, once again, several areas of abnormally increased density or opacity, suggesting sclerosis of several of the cervical vertebral bodies. We can also see here again bony spurring consistent with degenerative osteoarthritis. The odontoid view is interesting in this patient because of asymmetric widening of the joint space between the odontoid and the lateral mass of C1. Again, applying numbers to the cervical spine film, we can see the most prominent sclerotic lesions are at C3, 5, 6, and 7. So in summary, we have a patient with signs of previous surgery, a clinical history of a prostatectomy, degenerative osteoarthritis, and multiple areas of abnormally increased vertebral body opacity. This is suggestive of blastic bone metastasis. In a woman, breast cancer would be the most common possibility. However, in a man, prostate cancer is notorious for producing blastic bone metastasis. In addition, lymphoma, especially treated lymphoma, carcinoid and other neuroectodermal and neuroendocrine tumors, and rarely PNET, such as medulloblastoma and neuroblastoma, primarily presenting in children, could also cause blastic bone metastasis. In this patient, we clearly have metastatic prostate cancer with multiple blastic sclerotic lesions involving the cervical and the lumbar spine. Again, there are multiple areas of increased opacity involving multiple vertebral bodies consistent with metastatic prostate cancer to cervical spine and also to the lumbar spine. The small red arrows highlight the surgical clips in the pelvis in the location of the iliac lymph nodes. I'm Jim Smyrniotopoulos, and I'd like to remind you that metastatic deposits do not directly destroy nor produce bone. Instead, they alter the normal dynamic physiology of bone production and reabsorption. Blastic bone lesions occur when the balance is tipped towards the osteoblasts and bone production. Lytic bone lesions occur when a shift is favoring the osteoclasts and bone reabsorption. Remember that nothing can remove bone except for osteoclasts and surgeons. I'm Jim Smyrniotopoulos, and I thank you for your attention to this MedPix Case of the Week.